Hey everyone, I have a surprise box opening. Uh, last week, I was not feeling good. I was laying in bed and I was scrolling through the Facebook like doll resale groups and this baby, I saw her and I don't know what got into me. Normally, I debate on a purchase for a while before I buy one and I have the Megan kit from uh, Rose Cottage Reborns coming uh, end of April for my birthday or early May. So I already had a baby on the way and I saw this baby and just <laughs> fell in love. And it's a unique baby. So you guys are going to see when I open it, okay? Um, so let me just go ahead and open her. She was shipped to my friend Desmond. He always does my PayPal's for me. Ooh. Oh, there's some stuff in here. All I did was cut the end open. I have not actually opened it. Okay, great. Oh, whatever is in this box smells so good. What is that smell? I've heard that sometimes they scent babies. Oh, she put this in there. It is a jasmine scented sachet. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that is lovely. Like you guys, the moment I opened it, it smelled so great. I'm going to leave that out. Um, she sent uh, a couple little diapers for the baby and this is her pacifier which is awesome. I only have the one magnetic pacifier that came with my uh, Malia baby. I, I really need to learn how to make these. If you guys have some links to some good videos let me know. I guess I could do it. I just haven't ever found a magnet to do it. So she included two diapers. Thank you so much for that and I really love this pacifier i should be filming this on my better camera but i'm not i'm just doing it on the cell phone so hopefully that's okay um okay this is her head so this is a cuddle baby which means that i've seen them before it's not something i ever wanted or or sought out for buying but i saw um marissa R russo is her name hold on let me double check Marissa, I think I'm saying it right, Russo, R-U-S-S-O, is the one who painted, um, and she is the Sarah Sculpt, S-E-R-A. I have no idea who the sculptor of that is. It wasn't listed, and I, I haven't looked into it. Again, this was all a very fast purchase, but I saw her face and was like, yes, I have to have her, and she's beautifully tied up here. So anyway, um, a cuddle baby is she will have the vinyl head, but she'll have an all cloth body. It's so people can hold her, cuddle her or whatever. Um, not necessarily for, you know, taking pictures of because her body will be cloth. Um, but again, I, um, I found I just I, I fell in love with her. So I'm not going to do a super slow opening. A lot of people do that. Um, I don't. So Oh, this is amazing. She has an amazing, and she's weighted. Um, I know um, Marissa said they don't put a lot of weight in the limbs just because they could rip or tear. So she has this really cute cat body here. Oh, she is nicely weighted. And then um, here's her little face. Oh, she's got a little hat on. Oh, my goodness, the detail on this baby no I think I'm gonna have to get out my um oh she is gorgeous like I think I'm gonna have to get out my better camera can you guys this can you guys see and my nails look awful please let's not pay attention to them um sorry my kids are being loud do you guys see the detail on this baby she has little milk bumps. She's got little veining. Um, almost like if you've ever had a baby or held a newborn, they have those little bitty fine hairs on their face. Look at her eyelashes. Wow. Wow. The text. Oh, my goodness. This is weird. I'm going to take this off. She's my first vinyl baby. As y'all know, I have silicones. Wow, this, like, she feels so rich. How do you do that? That is crazy. Even her little ears. I'm sorry, I'm checking her out in real life and looking. The little face detailing. Wow. 
She's got mottling on the head. Wow. Oh, it's squishy. Oh, I've never, I've never had one, so I don't know, but it's a squishy head. I'm just going to flip her over and you guys are just going through this with me as I, I really should have put on my better camera and I'm so sorry for that. Um, wow. I am more than impressed. I almost wish, I almost wish I would have had Marissa do, um, the vinyl arms and legs because her work is amazing. Like, uh, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away at the detailing on this baby's face. I just, I can't believe it. Look at her little eyebrows are painted, but they look 3D. I don't know if my phone is going to pick that up, but just look. That's all painted, and like, it's, I can't describe it. It's beautiful. So, again, the moment I saw this baby, I was like, oh, I, I have to have her. So, I'm going to put her in a sleeper and um, bring her back and show you guys. I just, she reminds me, like, in this area, so much of my oldest when she was born. Just beautiful and stunning. So, let me get her in a little sleeper and come back and show you what she would look like with an outfit on. Yeah, so um, Marissa had said she thought she was a newborn size, so I put her in a newborn outfit. Um, let me see if, I don't think it'll let me turn the flash off, poo. Um, um, but I think, sorry, I keep having to pause. It's the life of having kids. So um, this is a newborn size, and I honestly think that she can wear preemie. Um, because it is a cloth body, she seems to be very slender in here. Um, probably comparable to my peanut, my boy, who is a preemie. Um, only because this is newborn, and here's all the extra. You know what I'm saying? So, I really think, like, here's the foot. Um, I really think she can wear a, a preemie outfit. So I may run to Walmart. Um, Hannah and I went to Walmart earlier and I, um, I, I didn't find a little girl. Uh, I was looking for newborn size, not preemie, um, but I was looking for sleepers that had the little folded over hand mitten built in because she is cloth. So, um, you know, more for the, the cuddling purposes, because if not, you would see her, um, <laughs> I can't function today. Hold on. I can't get it out. Um, if not, you would basically just see the print underneath. Um, it would just look like that. So um, for her, you know, I, I just kind of want to do outfits that are, um, that have the little hand covering just like this. Um, so I thought this would work, but I, I mean, it will work. It's just, it's a little big on her. Um, so you can see her little, uh, cloth body underneath which is fine uh, but I think I might we have like five Walmarts in our town it's ridiculous <laughs> so I think I might go and see if I can find a preemie um, little sleeper with a covered hand or if not just a preemie sleeper for her um, this one like I said it's a little big but that's okay and I am so impressed by the quality of this doll not all dolls do I like, not all babies do I like, and not all reborns do I like, um, but this one is really a work of art, and it, if you guys could just feel her texture in real life and see this baby, you, I mean, she really is incredible, so, and that's the great thing about collecting dolls is not everyone likes the same kind. I follow someone on YouTube and I don't think most of her dolls, you know, they don't speak to me, but I love to see her passion about her dolls, you know, because she loves them so much. So I just thought that I would show you guys my sweet new little girl. She doesn't have a name um, yet. So, you know, when I, when I get a name, I'll let you guys know, but I just thought you guys would like to see my newest baby and I still have one more coming. And I think for a while that's going to be good. I want to get a twin to the one that's coming, but, um, I don't know how financially that's going to work out, but for now my collection is growing pretty good. And so I want to enjoy the babies that I have. So thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.